Hey everyone, today we are gonna put the real in real estate and answer the question that we get asked all the time, and that is, how is the real estate market? So we're here at the end of quarter one, 2022, and we're gonna get into it. The good, the bad, and the feelings. The other. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, let's start with the numbers first. Yeah, so we're in Claremont, Florida, and uh, we're here in April of 2022, and we'll talk about the numbers from the first quarter. So. Last quarter we sold, there were 280 homes sold in our in our zip code, but uh, a year ago there were 320 homes sold in the zip code and it was a busy market then. Yeah. So that doesn't sound like a big differential, but it is, it's 15% fewer homes available for buyers to purchase. So year over year, fewer homes for sale, the price went up 25% this year. So last quarter homes sold for 25% more than they did a year ago. But the big number that is affecting us so much mm. is days on market. Last year, if you put your home on the market for sale, 10 days, your home is under contract. Today, four days. Yeah, so let's talk about the four day process because I think that's relevant to our buyers right now. And I'll, I'll speak on the buyer process mm -hmm. and how it's different. So four years ago in 2018, interest rates were also in the five, what we're kind of experiencing right now. But we had options. Buyers had so many options and homes to look at. And the question was, when you found the one, okay, where can we negotiate? Is it price? Is it, can we get the seller to pay our closing costs? What is it? And the buyers had more options and a little bit more negotiating power. Well, today it's not the case. Today, the minute a house comes on the market, we have to react and go to the house probably with 12 other couples mm -hmm. and assume that we're a multiple offer in every single one. I wrote two contracts this weekend where I'm also offer on both. And one of the houses I wrote a contract on, I'm not going to hear back from the seller for three days because while they make their decision that's because that's how what they, it is. They're choosing to do it. Yeah. 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 On the sell side, um, as a seller, it's, it's a lot easier than that because there's no question about whether we're going to sell your house. The art is getting it priced correctly and managing the showing requests. Yeah. You know, so as a seller, when going on the market, you probably need to just go out of town for a few days. <laughs> that would be the best way. It just gives the house to get it done for you. But um, it's a lot. It's a lot. And I think one of the things that makes this difficult is our sellers, um, they're hearing the stories about multiple offers in their neighborhood and things selling overpriced. And so an expectation is being built inside them or maybe a desire and a hope yeah. that theirs will do even more than what the market did. And it doesn't always work that way. Yeah, so what's our best advice? Okay, so I think on the buyer side, my best advice would be to embrace the journey. Mm -hmm. And and know that there are a lot of things right. outside of your control. You can't control how many other people also think that the house that you think is the one is also the one for them. So if you can learn to embrace the journey and to keep getting back on the horse, we'll get the house. It just might take longer than you think. Yeah, and on the sell side, I would tell you that greed is the enemy. Greed is your enemy. Embrace the market for where it is. Know that as a seller, you are about to sell your home for the most it could ever sell for. And that is gonna be a win for you. And, uh, and let the market bear what it's gonna bear. Get your home in top condition and know that it's gonna work and that you're gonna be able to succeed and move on to the next phase. Don't let greed cloud you and f cause you to feel that you're losing when you're actually winning. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Yeah. There are a lot of things that are outside of your control in a real estate transaction. And there always have been, but I feel like right now, um, there are things you can't control and there are a whole lot more buyers trying to pull on it. Yeah. You know, so you got so you got that going on. On our side, we want to be clear with you about what we're going to do to help you navigate the sale or the purchase of your home. Because the market is in a state of that we can't control it, and you are where you are in the process. The one thing we're going to promise you is that we're going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell you exactly what has happened, exactly where it's at, so that you know where things are. And sometimes that's uh, really satisfying to deliver that news and sometimes that's really difficult and um, we're still gonna do it. And the other side is we're gonna not give up. We're gonna be in this from beginning to the end 
We're not going to leave you. We're not going to abandon you. We're not going to abandon our posts. We're going to be with it, with you every single day, working in this full time. Never stop. So we're Matt and Chelsea. If you are looking to buy or sell a home, give us a call.